today I want to sort of do a roundup of the best way to archive your valuable files. I, we've sort of talked about this, you know, there's maybe uh, four or five uh, different ways to do this in general, right? You can write to CD very slow, very, very, very slow. It's very slow. And you need to buy uh, gold archival CDs. I use CDs for some stuff, like when I um, send my copyright submission to the copyright office, I put it on gold archival CDs or DVDs because I could staple that, not a staple through the CD, but I can staple the envelope that they're protected in to the copyright application. And for that reason, it makes sense. Then you sort of, you have SSD drives, which you could store things that I would include your flash cards um, in that. They're not very good for long-term storage though. It's not like uh, archiving on an LTO tape or a hard drive. An SSD drive is flash memory. And if something goes wrong with the drive, it's gone. It's temporary memory, it's gone, it's not retrievable. If your spinning hard drive or LTO tape has a mechanical failure, you can always get the information off of the platter or off of the tape itself. That's retrievable. So an SSD isn't really, really a, a good way to store information for a long term. Um, it's okay if you want to keep your flashcards with their photographs on it or your video on it until you make sure you've done all your backups, but it's not really the best way to, to do long term backup. Um, I particularly like, I use two methods. Um, I don't use LTO tape, I've moved away from tape backups. Um, but they're, they're, it's a valuable and, and reasonable thing to do, is to do tape backups. So uh, my shoot images, but the large volume of photographs that I have after a shoot, you know, the whole shoot before we throw out files or pick the good ones, I archive those on uh, standard three and a half inch hard drives, like four or six terabyte hard drives. I, I find the best value and I do them on duplicate hard drives. So we have a set in-house that we keep in anti-static foam and we have a set um, that we put in a Pelican case and put in storage. And that's the most bang for the buck for me. Um, you. It, it's LTO cheap tape is probably a little cheaper because you you it, you probably get a few, couple of more terabytes for the dollar, but drive is close and drive is much faster in its read and write time. If you're trying to get files down off of drive, tape's got to spin to the point where it's on the tape. It's got to find it. It's got to then take it off. It's much slower. Uh, drive is almost immediate. It's instantaneous. It, you know, if you're on a uh, graphic oriented uh, uh, browser, um, you're able to grab the files and just drag them where you want and they copy. So, so I like hard drives for that reason. So the other thing I do in addition to storing the shoot data on hard drive is we use a RAID system. I, I love these Synology RAIDs. Uh, they're NAS RAIDs. We're able to see them on the network. Everyone has access to them. And I have one in my office and I have one in another office that's off site and they, it, one backs up the other. And that way uh, I have uh, a backup to the RAID. Remember, a, a single RAID is not a backup, right? It's got redundancy in case a drive fails, but it's not a backup. You have to understand this. If someone walks into your house or office and picks up your RAID and walks away with it, you don't have a backup. So for our RAIDs, I have a, they're, they're connected via fiber optic off of the internet, so it's unhackable, blah, 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 and don't now try to hack me because I said that. Um, for our RAIDs, we back them up, you know, in different buildings, and then I also push a, um, a set of data from the RAID into the cloud, into my OneDrive. So, so we have enough redundancy. For photographers, I think it's really, really uh, important to distinguish between the data you need and have available for yourself easily, like, like the retouch final images, sort of your greatest hits. If, it was, if there were five pictures in a shoot that were that good, right? I have those five online all the time. 
layered files. I look at them in Lightroom. I can export them and do whatever I want with them all the time. If someone wants to license a picture, I can grab it in Lightroom, output a TIFF or a JPEG, and I'm there. And then to distinguish between that type of data and the data that you would put on a hard drive and sort of put away, put in the file cabinet, doesn't need to be online, it's the whole shoot. And this way you're making a diff you know, distinction cost-wise too. Putting it on the drive is a lot cheaper and a lot more efficient for a large number of files and a lot of data than it is maintaining and keeping raids and backing them up. Thank you.